Cena's Corner. World's number one rhythm game reviewer. Harmonix has announced that they have a brand new game. This new game is called Fantasia, which if it sounds like a Walt Disney film, it's because it is. They have partnered with the Walt Disney Company to bring you the game Fantasia. Now Fantasia is off of a classic Mickey Mouse cartoon where he was a sorcerer and he was able to control a whole bunch of different things by using the elements of music. This is an extraordinary film if you've never seen it. And in the year 2000, I got to see it live, so to speak, because they did kind of like a little thing on water at Disney World when I went there. And it was about an hour and a half, two hour show, and it was just fantastic. Now, the question is, good idea, bad idea, do you like the concept? Well, let me give you my thoughts on it. First of all, I kind of think that Harmonix is taking a very bad beating of this game. If you go to the actual place where they placed the trailer, which I think is called Fantasia Game uh, on YouTube or something to that nature, um, or if you are uh, a member of the Cena's Corner um, Facebook page, you can see it there. People are leaving comments that is just probably not fair. And I think it's because of the fact that just like I have been with Cena's Corner, Rock Band is pigeonholed harmonics into one thing when they're capable of doing many things the fair statement is we don't really know a lot about this game if you saw the trailer which I think you, you just saw the trailer so with this trailer uh, that I showed you at the top of this video there is not enough to even know about what the game is all we know is you see people doing this and they're moving their hands all around and getting into it and they got colors flying out their hands so I'm sure it won't be the case uh, when you play the game, and it tells you what it is. You know, control your universe, make music, stop it, slow it down. That's all we know. We don't know if the game's going to be cool. We don't know if the game's going to be a bust. We don't know. So to be able to make harsh judgments right now, I think is very unfair. And a lot of people are making this harsh judgment because it's Walt Disney's company. What's wrong with Walt Disney? Let's talk about Walt Disney real quick. Walt Disney has a whole bunch of games on the market. They have for years. When I went to E3 in 2010, 20, or 2009 and 2010, man, they had a bunch of games that karaoke all out the, all the wazoo. And I know a lot of people saying, well, it's because it's branded mostly towards kids. Well, Walt Disney came with a game several years ago by the name of Kingdom Hearts. And they made several of those. And the biggest people that played that game was adults. I know because I played it. My best friend, he was always on it. So it isn't just a kid concept all the time because the name of the company is Walt Disney. These people have made some of the most iconic cartoon films in the world, but they have their hands in other things. I think Harmonix is really smart. Let's look at what they've done over the years that just hasn't been them. Harmonix started out as an independent company that ended up being bought by Viacom, which is the same company that controls MTV. 
So in a few short years after Rock Band, they went from independent to being owned by a huge company to being independent again. So now they made their own deals. And then they partnered with Apple Core, which is the company that runs everything for the Beatles. They made the Beatles Rock Band. They made Green Day Rock Band. Now they're hooked up with Walt Disney. I think it's smart of them to have as many companies as they can on their side. But let's look at what I really feel like is the issue. Harmonix is getting blamed for a lot of things when they're just the company that makes the game. Let me tell you what I mean by that. I had a talk with a friend of mine named Mike Turnage on Facebook the other day because we started dialoguing about this game. And this is what I brought up to him. Now, these are just my opinions alone, but can you really say that the Beatles rock band was a true harmonics game? Can you say that Fantasia will be a true harmonics game? In my opinion, I say no. I say that they're just a company that has the expertise and the know-how to get this kind of thing done. While Disney knows it, Apple Corn knew they were the best, other companies know they're the best, so they're going to go to them. And the reason I say no is this. When it came to the Beatles, there was a lot of things that they could not do because Apple Corps, who was actually running the project, said you can't do it. Let me give you a couple. There was no solo sections for drums and Beatles because it would have messed with the authenticity of the game. So all you had was just a green icon you smacked and that was it. Kind of like it is if you turn drum fills off in Rock Band 3 right now. There was no whamming on your whammy bar in the, on the guitar in Beatles. It was done automatically. Again, why? Because it would have messed with the authenticity of the Beatles song according to Apple Corps. So that wasn't there. I, uh, the Beatles soundtrack or the Beatles songs from the Beatles game was the only game that was not, all songs were not transferable to our uh, band 3. You cannot go to Rock Band 3 right now and import anything from your Beatles game into Rock Band 3. Again, when all the games that Harmonix has had their name firmly on, what did you get? Lego Rock Band, Rock Band 1, Rock Band 2, Rock Band Green Day, Rock Band Blitz, all importable into Rock Band. Because they have control over that. Even though Lego came and said make a game, they gave Harmonix full control. My, my thing is, you always look at the company whose name is first. And in this case, Walt Disney's name is first. If you think that they're not going to have control over what, over what any company, whether it's Harmonix or anybody else, does with a name in a game like Fantasia, and that's the whole branding for it, my friends think again. I think what we need to do is just wait and see exactly what is going to come down the pipeline, which I almost guarantee you that we're going to know more about this game when, uh, at E3. E3, today's Thursday. You know, it's what, four days away? So, at four days, we're going to know what's going on with this game. But until then, I think we all need to look at this as... Uh, what it is. We don't know. It's a new game. Let's wish Harmonix the best and let's see what happens. You know me. If the game is bad, I'm going to tell you the game is bad. But the number one complaint too is, oh my goodness, it's for Connect. Okay, people, look. Let's look at Harmonix over the last few years. They branded Rock Band 3 and then right after that they came out with what? Dance Central 1, Dance Central 2, Dance Central 3. All played on the connect. They have been trying to tell all of us for a long period of time that they were moving in a whole different direction. Do I think there's still going to be a Rock Band 4? That's for another discussion and I guarantee you there will be a video on that. But, you got to wait and see what it's like. And it's only Xbox. That's the other thing that people's having a fit about. It's only Xbox 360, there ain't no PS4 love. Okay, well, all you Sony fanboys, come on and hate me now because I'm going to make this statement very bold and very precise and it's just the way that I see it. Has nothing to do that I love Xbox, has nothing to do that I hate PS4. I have both of their products in my home right now. More PS, more Sony than, than Xbox. I carry a Vita and I have a PS3 right now. So I'm going to put it this way. I do not believe that the PSI or the P or with a PS Move has what it takes 
to do what Harmonix wants to do with this game. With the Xbox One being upgraded the way that it is and with the Kinect being updated, you need to have 100% lag free play from what I'm getting just from the trailer to be able to pull this stuff off. I'm not even really sure how well it's going to do on the Xbox 360 Connect version right now as they're making it for both. I think that there is a slight lag, not much but a slight lag, in the Xbox 360. The, P uh, the Xbox One Connect is supposed to have no lag. Sorry folks, I just don't think that the PSI, which goes to the PS Move, the camera itself, can keep up with what you need to do. That is why there is probably no PS4 version. On the other hand of that, if you've been paying attention the last past five years, you would know that Harmonix has some kind of a very good relationship with Microsoft, just like every other company seems to. Harmonix releases DLC, it goes to Xbox first. If Call of Duty releases DLC, it goes where? Xbox first. There's many other games that all their stuff went to. Xbox first, then it trickled down. So it isn't just them. It's the overall market. So, that's it. I don't really know what to tell you guys about the game because, you know, somebody that comes they want more information. I'm just about in the dark as you guys. I haven't written anybody over at Harmonix because one is a very busy time for them because they're all preparing to go to E3. And the other one is, I, I know the guys over there very well. I know John Drake and those guys very well and they're not going to tell me nothing because I call, them, I call them Apple Mini, because the fact that Apple always has all this stuff coming out, and you never know what it is until the end, it's the same with Harmonix. Harmonix is very good at keeping their secrets down because they don't want things to get out until it's time. So like you and everybody else, we gotta sit around and be patient, and we have to look and listen off for the game. But based on the trailer, I want you guys to tell me what you feel about this new game. Just based on what you've seen, do you think it's something you would buy? Do you think it's something you wouldn't buy? Do you think it's something you, you're willing to have an open mind and give a shot at? Man, it could be fun. I mean, let's look over the history of their game Rock Band. Everybody had a fit because they titled the game Rock Band. If you go back, way back, about four years ago, and look at some of my videos, I think one of my videos I said, I think they gave the game the wrong name of the Rock Band because people lost their mind. They came out, oh, we're going to ask Snoop Dogg. Oh, we're going to add Evanescence. Oh, we're going to add Lady Gaga. People have said, oh my goodness, this is called Rock Band. It's supposed to be metal. It's supposed to be rock. It's supposed to be raw. And it's supposed to be all this other stuff. Okay, well, they told you from the beginning that there was going to be many genres of music. Nobody wanted to listen. Well, here we are in the same boat again with this Fantasia game. Everybody wants it to be what they want. But they have a bigger, broader mind. So tell me... What you guys think down here below in the comments. Do you think it's going to be a good game? Is it something you're looking forward to? Or are you, like me, reserving the rest of your comments for E3? Let me know what you think. You guys know how to reach me. Cena at Cena's Corner. Dot com. You can reach me on Facebook, forward slash Cena's Corner 1101. And also on Twitter at Cena5401. Alright guys, so that's it for me. Until next time, I say peace, love, keep rocking out. And we're going to catch you guys the next time.